According to a defense ministry statement, India successfully launched the Agni-4 ballistic missile from the integrated test range in Chandipur, Idissa, on Friday, according to a defense ministry release. The successful test was conducted under the supervision of the Strategic Forces Command. According to the statement, the launch confirmed all operational and technical criteria. This test met all of the trial objectives, demonstrating its dependable operation, as evidenced by data collected by a number of range sensors deployed at various locations, including two downrange ships stationed at the terminal point. On April 4 this year, the Strategic Forces Command and the Defense Research and Development Organization successfully tested the next-generation ballistic missile Agni Prime from Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Island off the coast of Edissa. Agni-4 is the fourth missile in the Agni series, formerly known as Agni-2 Prime. It was created by India's DRDO and has a variety of new technologies and substantial advancements in missile technology. The missile is lightweight, having two stages of solid propulsion and a payload that includes a re-entry heat shield. With a range of 4,000 kilometers, it can strike targets across nearly all of mainland China if launched from northeastern India. Agni-4 can carry a one-ton warhead, it is intended to improve kill efficiency while also providing better range performance. Its length is 20 meters and the launch weight is 17 tons. It can be fired from a roadside mobile launcher. Efforts are being made to improve the Agni rocket's ability to defeat anti-ballistic missile systems. The radar cross-section and other observable fingerprints of Agni-4 have been drastically decreased, making it far more resistant to countermeasures. Following the Cabinet Committee on Security's recent clearance for the AMCA 5.5 Gen Fighter Aircraft Program, the Defense Research and Development Organization hopes to finalize a deal for the program's new engine by 2025. The Gas Turbine Research Establishment GTRE, will work with one of the competing companies, including bids from Safran, Rolls-Royce and GE, to co-develop a new 110 knots engine. This engine will serve as the AMCA's powertrain, which is critical to its performance and capabilities. The AMCA, a stealth fighter aircraft, is an important project in India's defense modernization. The new engine will provide the aircraft the thrust and power to meet its stringent operational requirements. Collaboration with a foreign partner will provide essential experience and technology, while also promoting technology transfer and indigenous development capabilities. The successful completion of the engine deal will represent a significant step forward in the AMCA program. It will pave the way for the development and production of this sophisticated fighter jet, which is projected to play a critical role in India's future defense capabilities. India is preparing to significantly expand its submarine fleet, with plans to build 25 submarines over the next decade at a cost of $31.6 billion. This enormous project demonstrates the country's willingness to strengthen its underwater capabilities in response to China's increasing naval presence in the region. The Indian Navy's fleet will now include two Arahant-class ballistic missile submarines, SSBNs, which are a key component of this expansion. These submarines, which have increased missile-carrying capability, will greatly boost India's sea-based nuclear deterrent. Furthermore, India is creating six larger S-5-class SSBNs that will use cutting-edge stealth technology and be armed with long-range submarine-launch ballistic missiles, SLBMs, like the K-5 and K-6. These upgraded submarines would strengthen India's SSBN fleet as a powerful nuclear deterrent. In addition to SSBNs, India intends to buy three more Calvary-class submarines and is currently developing six next-generation submarines under Project 75I and another six under Project 76. In addition, Project 77 intends to create the country's own two nuclear strike submarines. This comprehensive investment in submarine technology underlines India's strategic vision and determination to maintain a strong naval presence in the face of changing geopolitical forces. As the country's maritime interests grow, a modern and capable submarine force will be critical to maintaining security and protecting national interests. On September 2, 2024, the Cabinet Committee on Security approved the purchase of 240 AL-31 FP Aero engines for the Indian Air Force's Su-30 MKI aircraft. This purchase will be carried out under the Buy Indian category, with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited as the supplier. The transaction costs more over Rs 26,000 crore, including all taxes and levies. 
The next batch of AL31FP engines will be outfitted with full authority digital engine control, a significant upgrade designed to improve the operating efficiency and performance of the Su-30 MKI fleet. FADEC is a complex electronic technology that enhances engine performance by automating control functions, decreasing pilot labor while increasing overall fuel efficiency and reliability. Currently, the AL31FP engines have less than 54% indigenous content, which concerns many defense analysts. These experts have urged HAL to expand the use of indigenous components in these engines in order to reduce reliance on foreign suppliers and increase self-reliance in crucial defense technology. The AL31FP engine powers the Su-30 MKI, the most modern and numerous fighter aircraft in the Indian Air Force. These engines are critical for the fleet's operational preparedness, as it plays a critical role in protecting India's airspace and projecting regional influence. The decision to purchase a new batch of these engines demonstrates the Indian government's continued commitment to sustaining the IAF's combat capabilities. India's latest nuclear-powered submarine INS Aragat has been upgraded with longer-range missiles and a high level of indigenous content, making it more competent than its predecessor, INS Arahant. India's first nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine, the INS Arahant, was commissioned in 2018, while the second, the INS Aragat, was commissioned into the Navy this week by Defense Minister Rajnath Singh. According to news media, the INS Aragat has missiles that can attack targets at a range of more than 3,500 kilometers and will serve as a strong deterrent for the country. Meanwhile, INS Arihant is equipped with missiles capable of hitting targets at a range of approximately 750 kilometers, according to reports. The nuclear submarine fleet will receive a significant boost, with a third boat scheduled to be commissioned in the early part of next year, as per some sources. The second Arihant class submarine INS Aragat was commissioned into the Indian Navy on August 29, 2024, in Visakhapatnam. Earlier, the defense minister claimed that the nuclear-powered submarine is a source of national pride, calling it as an achievement in accordance with the government's Atmanur Barda initiative. The building of INS Aragat required advanced design and manufacturing technologies, extensive research and development, the use of special materials, complicated engineering, and highly skilled craftsmanship. It stands out for having indigenous technologies and equipment developed, planned, manufactured, and integrated by Indian scientists, industry, and naval personnel. This submarine is substantially more advanced than its predecessor, the Arihant, due to indigenous technology developments. The establishment of both INS Arihant and INS Aragat will improve India's capabilities to deter potential adversaries and preserve its national interests. The Indian Air Force's ambitious search for a new medium transport aircraft is gathering traction, with early signs that the Embraer C-390 Millennium may be a more cost-effective alternative than its competitors. According to sources, Embraer's proposal to the IAF comprises not just the C-390 aircraft, but also a full technology transfer package that will allow for local manufacturing. This option is expected to cost between $140 to $160 million per unit, potentially reducing the predicted price for the Lockheed Martin C-130J Hercules, a longtime favorite in the IAF's fleet. While the C-130J has a proven track record within the IAF, with six units purchased for $1.05 billion in 2012, its current worldwide unit cost ranges between $130 and $167 million. Another option, the Airbus A400M, has a bigger payload capacity but costs substantially more, ranging from $220 to $240 million per unit. The IAF has yet to submit a formal request for proposal that includes unit costs based on final procurement figures. While Embraer's initial offer appears to be financially favorable, the IAF will conduct a full examination of the C-390's capabilities in light of its operational requirements. One significant feature of the C-390 is its large payload capacity. Its strong structure enables it to handle bigger payloads, up to 26,000 kilograms, as opposed to the C-130J's 20,227 kilograms capacity. This increased capacity could be a deciding factor for the IAF. India's reliance on domestic manufacturing adds another degree of complexity. While the chosen aircraft will be manufactured domestically, perhaps incurring extra upfront investment costs, this strategy is consistent with India's aims of self-reliance and long-term economic gains. That's all from YKS team for now. 
If you like the information, then please do share and give a like. You can also become our channel member and support our work. Thanks for watching.